Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to Not The Railway, I always nearly say that, uh, but it's another adventure this time in Train Simulator. Uh, hopefully it won't be a disaster like the last one was, but I can't promise anything. Today we're going to be going with a Battle of Britain locomotive, uh, and I'm going to go with 10 coaches, which is going to be a bit of a challenge, and I'm looking to challenge myself today, and I'll talk more about that, but let's get this started and let's get it loading. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this blind. I'm not going to have any of the controls um, up at the bottom. I'm just going to have the map. Uh, and it's not going to be such a long journey this time because it kind of went on forever last time. So it's just going to be, let's see, oh, 19 miles. Quite a long way then. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this heads up display. I'm not going to have any controls. And uh, this is the first time I've actually had a look at this engine. So I'm going to pop outside and take a look. So there it is, Manston beautiful in BR green and yes we've got quite a few coaches to look at this time hang on where's the right oh this is the back of the train so as you can see yeah it's quite a long train I think the last time I did this I only had a handful of coaches uh, anyway let's talk later on uh, because we need to get this train started if we're going 20 miles uh, so I'm just looking now at the controls uh, I reckon this must be the reverser okay found that uh, is this the regulator oh that's the train brake okay what's this thing Oh, that's an ejector, okay. So we're looking for the regulator. Uh, what's that thing there? I don't think that... Oh, that's the sander. This? Oh, that's the regulator. Okay, so that... That must be the brake the brake gauge, I guess. And where's pressure? Is pressure over here? I think that's pressure, yeah, because that's got the red line. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's all we need to know for the time being. So, let's see if we can't get this train moving. So, I'm going to set the reverser to forwards. Now, how does this work? Oh, it goes... Okay. Right, yep, that's gone to 100%, so that must be right. Um, I'm going to set the regulator to a little, you know, a little sort of 26% or thereabouts. There we go. And now I've got to release the train brake. Now, is down release or is up release? Let's guess up. Is it going... Ooh. The gauge is spinning. Hey, this is going well today. I actually managed to figure this lot out. Alright. The brakes are all the way off, so I can set those to running. In fact, I don't trust that I didn't uh, apply them slightly there. No, I don't think I did. Okay, so set those to running. No, I set them to apply again. The brake is very sort of jumpy in this. It's quite lively. Yeah, there we go. It's live. It's running now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, the, the usual, usual limbo. Turn down the reverser a little bit, or wind down the reverser. I got in touch with Why Not, or rather he got in touch with me, and he said he thought the best term to describe what you do to a reverser is wind the reverser. So that's what I'm going to call it. I'll say I wind the reverser down. So that's what I've done. And uh, we're speeding up, actually. Seemed to be getting on better with this than I was the Black Five. The Black Five, um, I only had a, f a handful of coaches, certainly not ten. And uh, I seem to be struggling with that. But uh, then again, I reckon these Bullet Pacifics are a little more powerful. Anyway, yeah, these are my f these are my favourite class of locomotives. These and the uh, the Merchant Navies. I absolutely love them. So, uh, yep, yeah, this is the first time I've ever had a chance to drive on. All... Alright, well, let's try and see if we can squeeze a little bit more speed out of this. Because the speed limit is 40. And we're only going at, well, less than 30. So, I'm going to open up that regulator a little bit more. Set it to about 70, I reckon. And uh, we'll get the, uh, we'll close and wind back the reverser a little bit. Set it to about 50, shall we? Oh, we're getting, getting some wheel slip now. Oh, look at that. Shall I switch the sander on? Might as well try some of these things. I think this was the sander. There we go. Ah, you see, it's fixed it. Well, it says we're still wheel slipping, but... Oh, no, we're not now. That's cool. Now, I don't, don't really mess around with the sanders all that much, so... To be honest with you, I don't know how much sand we've got, and I don't know... Ooh, what's that? Some bells ringing. If the bells start to ring in there, I'm going to be stuck, because I, I won't know what to do. Certainly not with this engine. Oh, the sander is actually helping. It really is helping, because we're not wheel slipping when it's on. So that's good. We'll keep the sander on for the time being, and if we run out of sand, well, I'll just have to worry about that another time. Now, if this is the pressure, will it tell me if I hover over it? Um, it's, 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 it's being pretty steady, is the pressure. So that's pretty good. Uh, we seem to be uh, still accelerating and the speed limit has gone up to 85 now, which is good. And uh, So let's have a look. Can we lean out the side of the cab? I'm not sure. Now you could on the Black 5. People were asking me whether you could or not. I wonder if we can mess around with the windows. No, looks like the windows are... Oh, oh we can. We can mess around with the windows. Is it me or are these uh, bullied cabs quite luxurious? 
I mean, they're very enclosed. You've even got a sort of cover between the tender and the loco. You've got these seats, which look pretty uh, pretty comfy compared to the black five ones. I'm, I'm more than happy in this loco. Shut the window. I'll keep it open, though, just so I can uh, get a little fresh air in here. It does get stuffy in these steam engines. Let's open up the uh, firebox then, see what it's like in there. Well, it was very two-dimensional looking, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, what is going on there? Now, I think I know what to do here. It was like Control D or Control F, okay. I just hit that button. I panicked, I said I wasn't going to do that. Oh, we've got the brakes applied though. Oh, I know what that was. Alright, so I've never really understood this. But uh, basically, it's it's as far as I understand it, it's a system that uh, checks that you're still alive. I'm going to need to uh, wind up the reverser a bit. So basically, I think the drivers have to respond at certain waypoints, and otherwise the brakes get slammed on like that. So I need to figure out how I respond um, in time, so as not to uh, trigger the emergency brake. So that is an interesting one. Oh, it's killed quite a bit of speed, so I can just press it on the H on the uh, heads-up display right there. But I saw something here move, so if it goes off again, I'll uh, I'll try that. Right. So we've lost a lot of steam actually, so I probably want to shut the regulator. And uh, we perhaps don't want the reverser to be uh, wound so far forwards, so I'll leave it at 40%. And uh, we're just going to have to hope that this. Uh, starts to rise. Is it me or is it rising? I think the pressure is going back up. Yeah, it is. God, they steam quite nicely, don't they? These bullets. It was a nightmare to get the steam back up, uh, the pressure back up, sorry, on uh, on the Black 5. And I haven't even got the blower on right now. I suppose I could put it on. Right, let's find the control for the blower. I did find it, I think, didn't I? There it is. Switch that on. Right, that should, that should even... Oh, oh, it's happening again. Ah! Oh no, it's happened again. Blimey, you don't get long, do you? I, I expect I'm supposed to have uh, reacted a little bit earlier than that. I think when this... Is it when this thing switches off? There's a light on there, but it wasn't a second ago, so if that switches off, do I have to react? I don't know. But it's not taken as long to be crawling again, has it? Problem is we haven't got any... Well, actually, we have got a bit of the pressure back now. So uh, let's open up the regulator, wind the reverser forwards a little bit, and uh, hope that the uh, the pressure doesn't drop too much. It actually is still rising, so that's good. Now, I don't know where it tells you. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to know without looking at a display how much cold you've got inside. I mean, you can probably tell how much water we've got by looking at these gauges, although it's not all that clear, is it? No. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I reckon. How's that looking? Well, the pressure is back up. It's getting close to the limits now, so we can really uh, open up the regulator. Set it to 80, because we don't want to waste steam, of course. People were saying in the comments last time, if I had a fireman in real life, he'd hate my guts for wasting all his steam. <laughs> and I did. I, I, I did. I wasted his steam pretty badly during the Black Fire mission. All right, that thing's gone off now, so what do I do? Look, I did. I, there's something that moves just here, this thing, but it doesn't look like I can click on it. So, you know, just to save us having to keep having the emergency brakes slammed on, I might just uh, press it on the uh, on the heads up display. Right, come on, these passengers are going to get bored now because I'm, we're crawling along and they're going to be late. Um, we've still got about 17 miles left to do, and we're not going to be there till about 10 past one. Ain't nobody got time for that. We need to speed this thing up. And the problem is I don't really know how, how to best speed this thing up and not waste all the steam. Or the pressure, I shouldn't say steam, should I? It is pressure. Uh, the pressure looks like it is dropping, so I might try and uh, wind back the reverser a touch further. See if we can get us to speed up. Is that working? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gently accelerating. We've got a, a reasonable gradient coming up. But we are accelerating, that's good. I spoke too soon about being better at driving this than the Black 5. I just don't think that's true anymore. <laughs> oh well. 
Okay, so I need to try and conserve a bit of steam then, because obviously the pressure's not as high as it could be. If we get it just below the limit at about uh, 245 or whatever it will be, uh, then that should mean that we've got plenty of power. But we got the blower on, and the uh, and the fire's open, so that means... Does that mean that we're being automatically fired up? Or cold up? I don't know what the term is. I think that means that the uh, the invisible fireman should be shoveling. So that's okay. Let's have a look outside then. I mean, I don't want to get too distracted, because if I mess it up, we'll... Uh, in fact, yeah, I better not leave the cab because uh, if this thing goes off again. Well, I hit it just at the right moment. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a thing. I don't think we had to do that with the Black 5. The Black 5 seemed to keep trundling along. So I'd, it's probably an older... Yeah, the Black 5 is older than the Bullet Pacific, isn't it? So maybe that was a more modern thing. But it's, uh, I certainly don't like that feature. It's, it's pretty scary, if you ask me. All right, so we've lo we've lost a bit of steam. We're right down now. As you can see, we're at more like 200 inches of mercury, as is apparently what we're looking at with this. I think that's the same with these. That's what Why Not said. I mean, it might not be. I might have misremembered, but I think that's what he said. So I'll trust him because he knows more about these things than I do. In fact, and that's true for most people, isn't it? Let's be honest. All right, 15 miles still to go, and it's looking okay. Um, I'll better just double check everything really, make sure everything's looking good. Uh, the light's gone off again on that, so I'll hit that again, there we go. I think it's, is it every time you go through a signal that that gets triggered? I really should have done my research on this, I'm sorry for being so ignorant. But I think that's, it's something along those lines. Right, I'm going to wind back the reverser a little bit further because I seem to be losing steam still. But equally I want to still accelerate, but actually 40 miles an hour isn't too bad is it? I mean. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Did we get away with it? Yeah, got away with it. They didn't slam the brakes on. Blimey, I only just responded to that a second ago. Can't take your eye off the ball, can you? Although I suppose that is the idea. Right, I've just remembered that we, uh, we've we neglected to test the whistle so far. So uh, let's figure out where the whistle is. I would have thought it was this, but it doesn't look like I can press it. What's that? Driver's injector? Nope, don't need that. Oh, we're slowing down. Yeah, we've lost quite a bit of steam now, so let's pull this down a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure why we're losing so much steam now. Yeah, and we're slowing down. Oh man, this is get, this is getting rough. I still got the blower on. Well, the sander's still on. Probably don't need that. Oh no, it's getting stuck on. Okay. Well, that is a glitch in the game, that's not my fault, so I'm going to switch that off by hand. Switch the sander off. What's this? The blower is on, yeah, we wanted the blower on, I think. And uh, while we're at it, let's figure out which of these controls is actually the whistle. That's the whistle. That was a very old-fashioned sounding whistle. Didn't expect it to sound like that. Well, I didn't see what control it was, I'm not too sure. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, so the bad news is that we're slowing down. The good news is the uh, the pressure seems to be uh, climbing a bit now, so... I suppose it's not too bad. Let's have another look. Oh, no, hang on. Apparently the uh, firebox isn't open. Oh. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I don't, did I close that and forget? I don't know. But that seems to be helping. Actually, things are picking up a little bit. We seem to be speeding up, and we seem to be gaining pressure. And I think that's a good sign, as far as I know. So, I'll do a little time lapse, because I know this is going on a bit. So, uh, I'll see you in a few miles' time. I'll do a little bit of uh, filming for you. And uh, wish me luck. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a few.
Alright folks, slight change of plan, very very slight. Right, well basically as you know, I am what is known as an idiot driver. And I forgot that really, before you go into a tunnel, you need to shut the, uh, the firebox and switch off the blower and uh, all that good stuff. And if you don't, uh, you basically uh, kill your crew. And uh, that's what happened to me. So uh, yes, uh, not good. So I thought actually before I start driving 30 mile journeys or whatever it is, uh, I thought I might as well practice my station stops. So that's what I'm going to do because uh, I think that is something I'm definitely <laughs> lacking in. I mean, I'm lacking in most areas, but I think that's definitely the thing I need to test uh, and the thing I need to uh, practice. So uh, I'm not going to stop at this uh, at Bedhampton too. I'm not going to stop at that one because I'm going to get myself up to a decent speed. Uh, up to 40, hopefully, if possible. And uh, then I'll stop at this uh, hill C2 and uh, see if I can do it. So I'm getting myself up to a fairly de a decent speed, if possible. Um, the limit is 70, and it's about to go up to 85. Oh, and we've got this thing going off again. Oh, no, it's not. It's just a level crossing, I expect. Yes, it was. It was just a re level crossing. I tell you what, I'm on tender hooks, and that isn't a tender pun. Well, I suppose it is. So we've got about three miles to go. So, yeah, the, the goal here is just to not waste all my steam, which is kind of what's happening. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, wind back the reverser a little bit. Make sure we're still accelerating. Yeah, we are very gently. Um, if we need a bit more steam, I might as well open up the firebox. Let's do that. There we go. Switch on the blower. It was this one, wasn't it? There we go. Right, I'll just double check that that is how it's supposed to be. Oh, it shuts. It's weird. Yep, the blower is on. So, uh, yeah, why did the fire... Yeah, that is, that's weird. The firebox shut when I opened up the heads-up display, and I can't seem to open it. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that was bizarre. But that should be helping. And let's just hope we don't turn up with any tunnels anytime soon. Okay. Let's bring up this display, oh, which has shut the uh, firebox again, of course. So let me uh, open that up again. Uh -huh. So we're about 40 miles an hour now, and uh, we're about two and three quarter miles away from where we're going to be stopping. So uh, that's a fair old speed. I might as well try and keep accelerating for the time being. And also what happened during that time lapsey thing I did, um, we were going up quite a steep gradient. Uh, as you can see now, it's uh, 1 to 1,000 something. Whereas uh, on this hill in particular, it was at 1 at 80. We were at uh, 1 in 80. So that's quite steep, I reckon, for a steam loco. And I think that's why we, weren't seem we didn't seem to be accelerating anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit strange. Well, I thought it was a bit strange, but uh, obviously it makes a lot of sense if you're going up an, an incline. So, OK, we're at close to 50 miles an hour now, and uh, pretty soon I'm going to want to think about slowing down, because uh, I think that was my problem last time. I was just uh, um, treating it a bit too much like a car and uh, not slowing down in time. So, yeah, definitely I need to try not to do that today. Okay, so I'm going to say to myself, and I'm going to stick to it, once we get a mile and a half away, I'm going to stop with the regulator. <coughs> and probably start to put some brakes on. And that's probably not a bad idea, because uh, the speed limits are changing down to 60 shortly anyway. Alright, that's good. So we're getting close, we're at 1.69 miles away now. And after all this setup, this better be a decent station stop. Even if I have to crawl into the platform, I will. Okay, so that's it. We're a mile and a half away. I'm going to shut the regulator. I think I can leave the reverser as it is. I don't think there's any. I don't think that's a taboo thing to do. I'm not absolutely sure. And uh, very gently, I'm going to start to apply the brakes. Oops, not that, not that heavily. Thank you. Don't want it. I don't want the emergency brakes coming on. Alright, we need a little more break than that. There we go. And we'll leave it at about 15. I don't know really what you're supposed to leave it at. But there we go, that is slightly applied. And uh, yeah, we are slowing down. Okay, so we're about a mile away now, just under. And there it is, there's the station, it's appeared up on the little map. So we probably, yeah, I think we're slowing down pretty good. Once we get, I don't know, three quarters of a mile, I don't know, this is just guesswork. Once we get to three quarters of a mile, I'll try and slow us down a little more. 
but actually we seem to be uh, coming down pretty nicely. So I think I need to just leave it, don't I? I need to not mess around. And if we get to about 15 miles an hour, let's say, then uh, okay, I might release them then. But uh, until then, I think uh, we seem to be slowing down quite gently. And I bet the passengers are shocked because they're used to being shot forwards out of their seats. So that's nice. That'll be nice for them. All right. We're crawling down, we're up to nearly 20 miles an hour. And we've still got half a mile left to go, so, alright. I'll break my rule again and release. There we go. Is the station in sight yet? In fact, I could probably uh, jump out if I remember what button it is. There it is. And look forward. Is this, is this it? Yep, yeah, there it is. I assume that'll be it if I zoom in. Well, I don't know actually. Oh no, this is it. That's it right there. Yep, yeah, there's a passenger footbridge there. So yeah, we're not far away. Um, don't know if I can see it from the train yet. Yeah, there it is. There's the platform. Okay, well that's this is kind of what they do at Heritage Railways. I mean, you don't get them cruising into stations at 30 miles an hour, do you? So I'm just being considerate. Speaking of considerate, we ought to whistle, didn't we? And I didn't. I never did find out how to use the whistle on the actual controls, so. I'll blow this one, there we go, and hide the display again, just so no one accuses me of cheating. I'm sure no one would accuse me of that. It sounded like a safety valve, that did. I've actually managed to conserve steam for once. Alright, so the platform is about to start, so let's start to apply the brakes again. Only gently, because we're not going that quick. Running, there we go. You know what, I might even be in danger of stopping too early. If I'm not careful. Alright, let's take the brakes off again. Because obviously we've got quite a long train. I don't know if the whole thing is gonna is likely to fit into the station. Yeah, there's quite a way yet before the last coach goes in, but uh, I really don't want the loco to pass out the other end, so I think any time now really to put the brakes back on is gonna be good. A bit more. There we go, that looks good. Obviously it's not that important that the loco's on the platform, but I'll try not to let any of the coaches pass out. There we go. Hey, look at that. I mean, it's not I mean, it's not what I'd call perfect, but uh, certainly the coaches are actually in the platform. Most of them are, all but one, and I think that's that's fair enough. All right, what do I do? Um, there's a button someplace. Might have to bring up the display again. There it is. That's the button. Look at this. All these passengers. Not only are they able to walk, but they're alive. There we go. I'll reach the end of the scenario. Well, I did it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks very much, everybody. Um, let me know if you like this kind of thing. I mean, it just to me, it feels like I'm just an imbecile messing around trying to get to the end of uh, little driving missions. But if you guys enjoy it, let me know. If there's anything else you want me to try, let me know. Um, I'm happy to keep doing this, but uh, obviously... Um, I'm not exactly the right person to come to if you want advice, but if you just enjoy seeing it, you know, that's fair enough. So thank you for watching, folks, and I'll see you on Wednesday for something else. All right, cheers, everybody.